Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. And today is a very special day. Is is vlogging? Is vlogging day. day? Here we go. We're gonna get our vlog on. What's wrong with my beard hair? It's sticking out. It looks funny. So you said vlog. No, you, you I said, said vlogging, I said vlogging day. day. We got a lot to do, guys. There's baby bunnies involved. We have a cool announcement with our recipe swap, and we're going to uh, Caesar's Creek Park. Yep. And I'm sure we'll get into all kinds of shenanigans. So most likely. Here we go. You guys ready to have a good time? Yeah. Woohoo! Who's ready to have a good time? Me. Me. So we're officially lost. Well, we found Caesar Creek, but we're at the boat ramp. I can't find the visitor center. We're lost, but we found a map. So here we go. Well, it looks after much driving, we found it. We're here. Yeah. They got crazy stuff. We're gonna go check it out. Uh-oh, this does not look good. What in the heck are you doing, dude? <laughs> I just stuck. Uh... You can't do it. I can't. I simply can't. I'm actually stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Action cam. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So Claire, Hi. how is the Hats for Vets project going? It is going very well. What's going on? Tell me about it. Well, we've been, we went to a... Veterans sorry, Hospital. Veterans Hospital, yes, and given them out on the street. And a couple people have, I've actually asked to distribute, so I've sent a couple hats to some people and they've distributed in their towns. And Hats for Vets is, you, you started this up because? Because I love Ruthie. veterans and I think it's, Absolutely insane how they're treated. Yep, and it's a big, fat, awesome hug and, and a thank you. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> I'm on spring break and I, I just gotta let it go. Let it go, let it go. What you got there, Grace? A paper X-Wing. A paper X-Wing fighter, that is so cool. Who made that? Miles. Miles. Yo. Check this out. I have not had this yet, but I'm excited to have this junk food. This is going to be great. Mama, Homestead Mama, please don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me, sister. All right. Let's try Man and a Mermaid. Use your firefighting skills, Jonathan. Oh man. He's got a vine. Oh geez, it's all coming down. <laughs> Holy smokes, look at the solar setup on this building. That would be nice to have. Oh yes. So what have we got going on here, Kevin? Well, what we have here is rocks. Rocks. And special rocks because they have edges. See oh, the that's, that's nice. That's that nice. Cool? What you got there, baby? Animal tracks. Animal tracks. Okay. These are cool. Check this out. Magnified bug boxes. So you don't need you don't need a magnifying glass anymore to annihilate bugs. You just set this out in the sun and you're good to go, right? <laughs> good to go. Good to go. Holy woodchucks. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hope. How much? I don't know. Wood as much wood if woodchuck could if woodchuck could chuck wood. Nice. That is that is high class, baby. High class all the way. Thanks. Hey Jonathan, nice rack you have there. Mm-hmm. Very nice. So what kind of tree is this? It's a, it's a climbing tree. Ah. You see? 
It's actually a monkey tree. See all the monkeys that it's been growing? It's a monkey tree. So we are at a point in this park, a position, a location, if you will, or even if you won't, <laughs> where the general public can come and gather fossils. Take a look around. It looks like a Star Wars set, and I like that. So you, you Kevin, oh, you going batty rock star that you are, you know a little more about this zone that looks like Tatooine yes. than I do. Yes. Do tell. Well, this is Caesars Creek Spillway. Um, there's a dam just uh, a half mile uh, up from us here. It's up yonder. That's up yonder. the technical term. Up Unst yonder. That way. Unst. And uh, <laughs> when the, when the dam can't hold the water, the water spills out into this area, and it holds it all. So uh, Cincinnati and Dayton don't, don't flood. And if you look around, there's a lot of little microbial and little uh, uh, shell-like fossils that are cool. all over this place because it's uh, it's old. It's I kind of a long time. I kind of feel like we should be listening to Led Zeppelin's "When the Levee Breaks." Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Caesars Creek, they happen to have a dam. So we're gonna check this out. Yeah, this could be cool. So it seems to be the flavor of the day that everybody's doing these 30 things about me that you don't know videos. We don't really have time to do one. However, we happen to be out here hanging out. So maybe we can tell one or two things that we don't know about you. What's one for you, Mumsy? Uh, it's gonna take me a while to think about it. She actually used to be a tightrope walker for yeah. Ringling Barnum and Bailey Circus. Yes, I forgot about that. Yep, that one's a good one. What are you guys? Um, I can cross one eye and keep the other one straight. Ooh, like yeah. Marty Feldman, cool. Yeah. That is cool, nice. <laughs> That's awesome. I can wiggle my ears. I was doing it in the last live stream. Yeah? What about you, Grace? What's something they don't know? Okay, cool. What about you there, Claire? What is something that they don't know about you? My name isn't really Claire. Really? Mm. But that's a lie. <laughs> You're literally lying right now. Claire. What is your favorite thing of the day? Um, walking up that hill. That hill? Yeah. That really sounds riveting and exciting. It is. It is, when you see the hill. Oh, take a look at this hill, okay? There's the valley. And we're turning, we're turning. It goes way up. Because this is a dam. And we're sitting on dam grass, watching the dam water, and enjoying the dam day. Dam steps are right over there. Where's the damn rocks? <laughs> hey everybody, I hope you are enjoying the video thus far. And I wanted to take just a brief moment, I promise it will be brief, to let you know about an awesome company that has actually made this video possible. And that is BarnGeek.com. These guys make the coolest barns you've ever seen. They've got the, the best plans and chicken coops and all kinds of awesome, amazing stuff. And they have made a plan of theirs available to you at an incredible price of only seven bucks. And if you know anything about plans, they're, they're thousands of dollars, guys. This, this, could, this, this is an opportunity that you wanna check out. And there's a link down below for that $7 barn geek offer. And uh, check them out. Uh, I, I know you're gonna love it, because, well, just look and you'll see. So, end of the commercial, back to the fun stuff. Do you wanna know who did my hair? No, who did your hair? You did your hair? Oh my gracious. <laughs> that is super styling. 
you look like a, a, a runway model, like a, a princess with awesome hair. Bunnies. Bunnies. Who do we have in here? I'll let you do this, Mama, so I don't get poofy all over us. How many did she give? She had 11. Oh, and they're all still here? As far as I know. I haven't checked them since yesterday. Okay. Whoa, we got a flipper. <laughs> Huge difference from... Look at these guys. Uh, a, couple we a week old. A week old. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. He's doing the boogaloo. Uh oh. Look at that one. Cute little rabbits. Now, how many days are these guys? Let me look. Let me see. Look at that rabbit go. You hear the sound? Yeah. Hold on. Okay, so Mama Rabbit is trying her best to go ahead and nurse this little little one here. <laughs> <laughs> I put this on top of it so it wouldn't walk away. But it's not getting as much nutrition as the other ones. And it's about half the size of the other ones. So we've done this in the past and it's worked. Where you can go ahead and put some raw goat's milk on, uh, on, a, on something for the, the rabbit to suckle from. Is it taking it, Mama? Yes. Look, oh, there it is. See? Now, one thing I would like to say uh, as we check out these amazing images, uh, first of all, this is just really cool. What, a, what an interesting and neat technology that you can actually have these amazing shots that would have not been possible at all 10 years ago uh, without the aid of a helicopter and hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Uh, these, this is just amazing to me that you can go to a store like Best Buy and pick up a drone and get these amazing shots. Um, but aside from that, what I wanted to say actually is thank you. You guys, the viewers, the subscribers, those who support us are just such an amazing group of people. And we are extremely grateful that you're here. And that comes from the heart. It's not just something that we, we say, but we, we truly are grateful for you guys. And we also want you to know that... Um, well, doggone it, you're the reason why we're here. That's, that's just it. It's that simple as the truth. And uh, so thank you very much. And we hope that you like what you see. And, and we really do appreciate the great comments. And um, so, well, summing up, thank you. All right, Brad, what about you? What's something we don't know about you? Um, I actually robbed a shiftless hobo for this shirt. And uh, his name was Gene. Uh, he had a tuna fish sandwich that he shared with me. And um, we actually went to see the ballroom dancing in Dallas, Texas. It was an amazing show. Uh, basically started out with explosions of, of light and glitter. And um, well, we got in free because we were friends with Barry Manilow and he was there and we just happened to be hanging out with his road crew. Uh, what most people don't really know about Barry Manilow is he has a very strict regiment of tam trampoline. Uh, it's, like, it's like, I don't know, you could say it's like yoga trampoline. Uh, and we were there and happened to be there and, and got his gift bags together because he was working with Sinatra at the time. And well, Sinatra, he has this thing for pickles. And so they hired us to drive from Dallas to go get him some pickles from Austin because that's the only place you can get the Sinatra pickles. And, and so Thank from that push. point, I, I, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dolphin, and I really love it. Your necklace? Uh -huh. Let me see. That was a gift from Dolphin Man, wasn't it? I love this necklace. Thank you, Dolphin Man.